for a 55 Chev, but 57 is so close. An old guy I know, give it to me. Well, back at the master shop and time to get this car back together. Got the old school book too, the help. So between the internet and the old school book, get her done. So what happened? The back of the turn signal switch, a couple wires jiggled loose, they rubbed together and shorted out a couple feet of the wire on the 57. It's not bad enough to replace the whole wiring harness, but it's still a big enough deal because you got to take out some old wire and replace it. So I've checked the wiring harness front to back. So where the turn signal switch is, all that wiring's gone. It's all fried. On this side of the plug, there's a couple wires, about a foot, that got fried. So really that's not that bad. Just cut that out, put it in, do it all up proper. And this car is good for a long, long time. What I've done is left an inch of wire at the back of the plug and then snipped it and then I'll follow it back to where the wire gets good and hopefully I get lucky and it comes out on another plug so that way I can just kinda keep the factory look instead of a patch wiring harness. So we'll see how it goes. So when I follow the yellow wire it goes to this plug here. So lucky me that way I can keep the factory appearance look with the wiring harness. And this plug here is for the uh, turn signal switch that makes it blink. So, so far so good. I really don't like wiring. It's just one of those things, but with peace and quiet, I can do it. Gotta like working in the master shop. Got nice cheerleaders over here. To keep you motivated. Hello ladies. Well, to another day. I gotta get a couple of little parts and the car can get back together. But for now, I'll use uh, good old vice grips. The original. The original ones. The ones that were made back in the day with quality. Anyways, great steering wheel. Well, the last time I came down to work on the car, I forgot my camera. My bad. One thing that was installed was this new bearing here in the column. That was the uh, source of my problem. What happened was going down the road, column would jiggle, and then eventually the couple wires on the back of the uh, turn signal switch broke off and they touched each other, shorted out. $35 part. My bad, but it's been busy the last couple years, it happens. Anyways, never thought something like this would happen. So the column's good and tight now. So from the turn signal switch, there's about 20 inches of wire to the first plug. All that was replaced. Then on the other side of that plug, uh, there's six wires, I believe. Two wires go to the uh, blinker for the turn signals. So those two wires had to be replaced. But it made it look like factory because we just did it from the uh, turn signal switch to the first plug. Made it all look like new. So it's perfect. And also I rewrapped all the wires in the car. And when I was doing this episode, I checked the whole wiring system front to back just to make sure I didn't want to have a freak short or something weird happen. So I got about six hours just checking the wiring harness out front to back. Then I rewrapped it just to kind of help protect it. Well, got to thank my buddy for letting me use his master shop and giving me a hand at getting this uh, brake lights and turn signals working on the old Chevy. Thanks for watching the video. And thanks for all the great comments.